Hi guys, hope you're well. Well, I've just landed at Lamona Cove and I'm doing the next portion of the Cornish coast from Lamona Cove round to, I think it's Penberth. Um, but I've just got here and it's a lot windier than what I thought it, it looked it was at home. I know I'm next to the coast and I probably live inland, a mile inland. But yeah, it's a lot windier than than what it was at home so again I'm not quite sure how this morning's going to turn out but what I'm doing is walking around the southwest coast path towards Penberth from Lamona. What a nice morning. Sun's just poking up over the top of the hill and again it's it's cloudy on the top of the uh, top of the hills like it was on my final day of filming here of my previous stage which was new Lynn to the Monaco so check that out in the top of the screen there but I know I've seen um, I've seen on the maps that I've bought that there's a monument up around this part of the coastal path there's a monument um, so I was trying to work my way around towards that I'm not quite sure how far it is though um, I was going to try and work my way around towards that monument just to uh, park myself up there just to try and get my drone in the air. I've got, me, I've, I've got three drones with me this morning. I've got my me, me Mini 2, my Mini 3 and my new Mavic 3 Pro which I was wanting to do a bit of a test flight this morning but like I say it's quite windy so I don't know what it's going to be like when we get around to this monument and get set up. So we'll see if we can push on around there and see what conditions are like. Oh, that must be the monument. Yeah, this must be the monument. Let me just uh, try and get down here. That's a bit of a drop. Oh. So this must be what I've seen on the maps. Oh. Celtic symbol. Lots of coins being left there over the years. What a recent 20 pence there. Eh? Yeah, so that's uh, that's obviously the monument. And there's not much room for me to take off and land. I might just see if I can just go up to that little hill there, just see what's over the top. While well, I've got you, so I can show you the view. Let's try and get back up here. Oh, that is steep that bit. But I definitely recommend walking from the Monaco, which is just round there. Walking from the Monaco, this little porch, it's probably 200 yards, but the view. He's unreal. Now I've not seen this view before, so I'm going to turn my camera around and show you the view live, if you will. I know it's not live because you're probably watching this a year on. <laughs> so I'm going to turn my camera around and show you the view that I get when I walk up this little rock over the top of here. So this is what I've got at the minute. This is just the little path that I'm on, the southwest coast path. That's the monument, just there in the sun. So this is the view that I'm going to get when I go up to the top of this path. Is it much of a view? 
No. <laughs> Maybe not. But oh well, I'll get down to that little point down there <laughs> and see if the view is any better. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, I was expecting to this big reveal. <laughs> So I've just come over that little hill. Woo! I mean, the view is a lot better. It drops away, look. There's, there's hardly any cliffs around here, so... The sea, or the path must drop down towards the... Uh, must drop towards the sea a bit, which I suppose it... It has done in this last 50 yards. Um. I wonder if I can, ah, can I get down yet? I might go down here up to these rocks. Just to give myself a flat base to take off from. Oh, look at this. Certainly rugged Cornwall, but, uh, yeah, it's the wind that's... That's nice some flat rock there. But yeah, it's the wind that's making me... Uh, think twice. I might I might get my new Mavic out. And see how that acts in the wind. But it's a shame because... I wanted to try and do quite a bit of filming today. But yeah, not to worry. Not to worry. So I'll see if I can find myself somewhere to... Uh, to park my bags and uh, we'll get flying. Where? Secure, so fingers crossed it will stay there. Right, let's get me drawn up. That was brilliant, that just had the uh Mavic 3 up, used two batteries. Yeah, it was okay. Um, it's a lot more responsive than my Mini 3 on the controller. I suppose it obviously costs a lot more money, so I suppose it will be, but uh, yeah, just a few settings I think I've got to change just to get it how I want it um, now that I've had it up. But yeah, the wind wasn't, uh, wasn't a problem for the Mavic 3. I suppose it's a bigger drone, it can handle stronger winds than the Mini 3. But yeah, got some good shots of this cliff edge and also around to uh, Tatadu Lighthouse, Tatadu Lighthouse. I've got a time lapse on the end of the uh, end of that rock there, which I'll have a look at in a second. So I think I'm gonna shoot back, maybe charge my batteries, I don't know yet. And uh, see if I can get round past uh, Tatadu Lighthouse and I think it's Penberth and you've got to walk back this way but I'm just going to walk down these cliffs, rocks just to the water's edge just to show you what an amazing view I've got this morning you can see the mist coming off the sea to be fair I don't know if you can pick that up Look at that. Oh yeah, you can see the mist, you can see all the, well, not mist, spray. Yeah, 
big wave in there look another one coming see if it hits this <laughs> brilliant brilliant so yeah so i'm gonna shoot back uh back to my car get me time lapse shoot back to my car and see uh see where the rest of the day takes me Yeah, one thing I've got to get used to is the, the gimbal cover, the drone cover. Because <clears throat> I had a Mavic 2 before I lost it in the sea. Don't ask me. Um, and that didn't have a gimbal cover or a propeller cover. I didn't have one, even though I suppose I could have bought one. Um, but this one has got obviously a big gimbal because it's got the three lenses on it. So the gimbal cover is quite large. And it's going to take me, you know, maybe a two or three goes to work out which way it goes on the drone. Because the propellers on the top don't fold right over the top of the drone. They just stop at the sides. And then there's like two little slots that the propellers slot into. So I've just got to work out which way the gimbal cover goes on the drone. But also, I think I'm going to need a bigger bag. Don't tell the wife because it's a bigger drone than the Mavic 2 Zoom that I had and also I've got my Mini 2, my Mini 3 I've got my Nikon D7200 in my bag along with two lenses, three lenses and on my books and things to record my times for my drones and my batteries so I think I'm going to need a bigger bag so you may also have to consider if you get the drone, the Mavic 3 you might have to consider getting a bigger bag. Just a word of warning. Hello you. <laughs> Hello.
Hello. Well, I've just landed at Penberth, which is just around the coast there from Lamona Cove. Just bumped into a chap down there who lives here. I mean, imagine living here. Unbelievable. Um, and he said there was a lot of camera crew down here not so long back because they were filming Poldark, which is new to me. I knew they were doing it over towards Givor Tin Mine, which is on the north coast out towards Pendine. But I didn't know they were filming anything around here, fair enough. But yeah, I'm just walking up the uh, up the path here, up to the top. And the sun's behind me, so I can't really, I don't want to get in the sun. But yeah, I'm a bit against the clock here tonight because Apparently the weather's not going to be too good this next couple of days, so I thought I'd come out tonight to try and get some more filming in. So, uh, guys, better of pull up here. So I'm just walking up. Oh, this is steep. But what a view. What a view. So let's get his uh, best foot forward because I think I've got about a mile walk to get to the ideal spot where I want to take off from, which is called Merthen Point. So from here, it's about a mile walk. So look at that. That is unbelievable. What a spot. There's snorkels, by the way, down in the water there, not dolphins. Which we have heard some reports about dolphins in Mounts Bay. But I've not seen any yet. So, uh, let's get moving. I just got to the, uh, the top of the first hill and to be honest with you I need to go beyond that point there which is Merthen Point so the path I think comes all the way around there all around there you can see a guy in a white shirt which I'm assuming he's got a fair trek so that's going to take that's going to take about an hour maybe more and I think in the sunset it's about 20 past 9 and what is it now? It's... don't know what time it is now. Quarter to seven. Quarter to eight. Bit of filming. So what I might just do is... is base myself off of here. Because it's quite... Got a decent view of everything there. But beyond that point there is... Um, hard to do a lighthouse. I don't know if you can see the guy with the white shirt on in the top there, I don't know. But yeah, beyond that point there is uh, it's hard to do a lighthouse. I wanted to uh, fly out to that from Merthen Point. But that's miles. 
and there's no other closer parking spot than where I parked at Penberth. And that is a walk. Anyway, what I'll do, I'll. Uh, <laughs> I think I'll set up my drones here and uh, see how we get on. A bit annoying, but you have to take the roof with a smooth. See how we get set up and see how we get on. <sighs> so I've just tried to take off with my Mavic 3, but it said I'm, I'm, in, I'm in within Land's End authorization zone. And it's asked me to unauthorise it, or authorise it, shall I say, and unlock it, but it's saying network connection required, of course, I'm in the middle of nowhere, so how the suppose am I going to get a network connection to unlock it, so I've not got to find a way ah, through all these nettles to get to my camera there, that I set up a time lapse for, before I put my drone up, or tried to put my drone up, so I'm going to get my time lapse. I'm having to pick my camera up, but it's a shame, look at the scenery, it's unreal. So I don't quite know whether to try and work my way around a bit further in the background there, around towards Lamona. That's a problem, that's a problem. Oh well, I'll pick my time lapse up and try and push on around a bit more, see if we get any luck. Yeah, I'm just looking to get round to Merthyn Point, which is what I've just said I wanted to really to try and get to. Might not be too bad because I'm only just along. That's where I just was there at the end of end of that point, and I'm only here, and that's took me ten minutes. So I think <laughs> I think my initial estimate of an hour. Leaves a lot to be desired, so hopefully when I get here I won't need to unlock an authorization zone, so fingers crossed. I'm warm though. Oh, what a view. What a view down there. Amazing. Yeah, let's get on to the end. Not far off, that's where I need to be. I don't know if you can make out the steps going up the hill there. But that's Merthyn Point. And I've just got to go around this little snicket, if you like. So I'm not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. I just hope it's worth it when I get there. And I've not walked all this distance and getting an authorization lock. Oh. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Just going down these steps. Thinking I've got to come back up these. But that is well worth it. Well worth it. I have got to come back here and do some photography. Because this is so picturesque, it's unbelievable. Not a soul here. There's a little sort of waterfall over to me right. But yeah, I've got to come back here and do some photography. And get it on my website, photographics.com. By the way, Ah, little bridge. Babbling brook. Can I get through here? Oh, tight squeeze. But yeah, I'm just looking at that hill. I've got to climb back up that hill. Oh god, there's a guy at the top of there. Which is where I'm going, top of that point. 
because they beat me up there so I'm just uh, conscious of the fact that every step I take is another step further away from Penberth which is where I parked my car so I'll just keep going see if I can get to the top of this and then I'll try my drone and then I'll have to turn back because the sun will be setting in about an hour and a half and I don't want to have to try and get through this lot just using the torch on my phone oh my days oh look butterfly my legs my legs are about to cave in I mean that's a cracking view I know I keep saying but oh. give me a sec my legs are on fire and these steps some of them are like two feet I'm going up a, going up a mountainside it's making me wonder is it worth it but I just want to show you guys Cornwall that's all I want to do this is seriously killing God, my heart's pounding out my chest Don't tell me I've reached the top, please. I mean that is amazing. Oh dear. God. I think this has got to be the toughest one yet. How are you? Good, thank you. I'm dead. I oh, know, it's a bit like that. Do you it? want to say hello to the viewers? Oh hello everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh My legs are physically shaking. Physically shaking. I can't talk. I think Penberth is not this point here, but the second one. And I think round there. It's Porth Kernel, I think you can see on the very end is Logan Rock. So oh, I'm not too far away from Porth Kernel and the Minak Theatre, which I think is the next stage after this one. But this is a little uh, is there a path down the back of here? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh nice. Oh. Oh, yes. Wow. Phenomenal. So I'm hoping now that this is Merthyn Point because I've come round one, two. This is, a, this is the second point. So I'm hoping I can get my drone up as I've just mentioned. Oh, my eyes stinging. But you watch. I don't know. I don't know which is Merthyn Point. I don't know if it's that one in the distance here or, or this one. And I've not got a signal on my phone to find out. So we'll see if we can find a little spot just here maybe to take off. Oh, 
dear. Uh, I'm expecting to see Tatadu Lighthouse. I mean, Sting. Ow. It's a massive lighthouse stood on the edge of cliff. And I thought it would just be in front of it, but I mean, there's all these bushes and prickles and god knows what. Well I can't see it. So I don't know where it is. I don't want to lose any of my bags in this deep brush. Brush, bush. Well, I can't see it, it's not there. So I'm thinking, is it round that next point? I didn't think it was as far as that. So anyway, I'm gonna shoot back up this way now because time's getting on and I've not, even got anything up yet, got me drawing in my air. So there was a rock just up here which I could take off from if I can remember where it is but I just wanted to see if I could see where Tatadu Lighthouse was. Ow! Unless it's below me but I could, you can't get through. I thought there was a path down to it because I think it's an automated lighthouse. I don't think anyone Excuse me a sec. I don't think anyone actually lives there and mans it. Um, my God. This is a joke. So yeah, I thought there was a path down to it, but I don't know, it must be around that other point. Anyway, let's get back to this rock. See if I can finally get my drone up. I mean, this walk took me 40 minutes, so I suppose I wasn't far off with me estimate of an hour. <sighs> Managed to find it. Nice rock here to take off from. But I've got to walk back round to that point. Not the one on the end. The next one in, and that's took me 40 minutes. So it's what time is it now? It's 25 to 8. So depending on whether I can unlock my drone or not, which I'm hoping to, I've got a 40 minute walk back. So if the sun sets at 20 past 9, God, I want to believe in here. Quarter to 9. So I've got an hour, so not too bad. So yeah, let's see if we can unlock it first. pretty good from the spot where I've just been on that rock um, I was out of the authorization zone so I wasn't able to get me I was able to get my drone up but I couldn't fly into it so obviously when I got to the boundary the drone stopped which means I've not been able to film Penberth so I'll have to uh, look into that to I've never unlocked that or I had to un unlock one before so I'll have to look into that to see how to unlock one if any of you guys know, please uh, write it down in the comments. But I'm shooting back now because I'm well aware I've got a 40 minute walk and it's about 20 past eight. So I should get back to my car up <laughs> before the sun sets. So uh, I've got a bit of a push on. So yeah, so I'll uh, hopefully speak to you when I get back to my car. If I don't break my neck that is.
Oh. Oh. Penberth. Penberth. Oh. Oh. I mean, that's a tough hike getting around there. I mean, coming back, it took me 25 minutes. Where it's going, it took me 45 because I suppose I was stopping and trying to work out where I was. But I've got about half an hour, I think, before the sun sets, so I might spend 20 minutes, half an hour in the harbour there, down on the bottom, doing some photography just to finish off the uh, the video because obviously I can't get my drone up because it's it's locked, so I can't film Penworth from the air. Which is a shame because it's amazing, it's really picturesque and I'd recommend you paying a visit. Um, so yeah, so I think this really rounds up the filming for this stage which is Lamona Cove to Penberth. So I'd like to thank you for watching, thanks for stopping by and I'm sorry for all the huffing and puffing but this tonight has been a bit of a bit of an arduous task and my knees are killing. I'm gagging for a drink, I've not got a drink with me, so I've been out since about half five and it's what quarter to nine. So I'm gagging for a drink, so I'm sorry for all the coughing and spluttering. But thank you for watching my little videos. I do like to get out and try and show you Cornwall, which is what I now call my home. So, thanks for watching, and I'll hopefully see you on the next one, if I survive. Take care. <laughs> Just ain't got the energy.